Okay, this is uh, video number two of the Beatles skill training curriculum. In the first video, we looked at uh, the numbers one through five. In this video, we will focus on the numbers six through nine. Again, you can download the attached uh, PDF file from the blog. And um, this lesson number two will focus on the Beatles skill problem sets number three through eleven. So jumping right into the discussion, we're going to look at inputting the numbers six through nine. So first, taking a look at the number six, we can enter a six simply by pinching with our thumb and index finger. We can remove the six by reverse pinching using the thumb and index finger uh, at the same time or we could just use our index finger to move the five away and then the one away uh, and that's just a matter of choice and probably some problem circumstances may dictate one way or the other to be more efficient so again to continue on to get a seven it's a five and two ones that we pinch we can remove that um, and then we have the number eight, which is a five and three ones that we pinch. We can remove that. And finally, we have the number nine. We were, are pinching all the beads together, and we can clear that. Now, there are a number of um, uh, example problems uh, in the PDF document. You can go through, and it will uh, show specifically each of the finger movements. I'm going to jump over here to the Beatles skill training module and go into problem set number nine. Start up my quiz module here. And let's go ahead and give a few of these a try and look at the finger movements. So for an eight, I can just simply pinch a five and three ones then I need to subtract seven so I could just reverse pinch that seven or I could take the five and then the two ones with my index finger next I need to add five so I do that pulling it down with my index finger and minus one I take that with my index finger as well for a final answer of five All right, let's take a, a look at another one. Here I have five, and then I'm gonna add two, so I pull two beads up with my thumb, and then a one with my thumb, and now I need to subtract seven. So again, I could reverse a five and two ones, um, doing a reverse pinch there, or I could take the five with my index finger and the two with my index finger as well. So um, you can see that you have some options on the technique that you want to use. Um, but again, uh, really, you know, focusing on uh, your your bead mechanics will certainly pay off later.